Welcome back. We have psychic medium Angelina Diana here, and Julia is going to get a reading in a moment. But um, first, we want to let you know there's a lot of uh, events coming up. People can come see you and yes. get a reading. If you go to AngelinaDiana.com, you'll get a lot of information. But I'm doing a new event at New Mornings in Woodbury. They're a natural and organic place. Okay. And they do a lot of natural and spiritual events there, and they invited me to be there in July. I'm really excited. There'll be details on the website. And tomorrow, I'm going to be on Country 92.5 doing readings with Broadway and Corey. Oh, I'm you're really kidding. excited. Oh, so you can call fun. in. Yeah, for I'm that. exciting. It'll be a lot no, of fun. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Julia, you know, we just pulled Julia out of the audience. She, I, I'm nervous for you. Why? I don't know. I'm just like, oh, God, I hope you connect. And I hope. Do, do you get nervous? No, like I that? don't. No. Okay. And I think it's because when you trust spirit or trust energy, you can't allow your physical brain to get in the way. And I say that to a lot of my clients. When we get too physically focused on things, we don't step back. We need to stop hyper-focusing and honoring what we feel in our gut and our heart. That same place when you watch a television show where there's animals and their eyes are really soft and Sarah McLaughlin is singing in the background. We might have been thinking two minutes before, I can't pay my bills, I'm upset. But then we see that and we touch that centered place that erases everything else. That's what we need to connect to in life. And if we did, the world would be a much better place. Hmm. So I honor spirit and their intention when I connect and when I read someone about their life, I honor their spirit to validate who they are versus the energy that they're holding on about the past or the the future. When right. we fear the future, it's based on something that hasn't happened yet. All right, so we want to let you know Julia's her. time. She's getting her psychic okay. on air. What's in store for Julia? Now, I usually don't like to know anything about anyone, but you did the, the recipe of the week. So I know that you are in high school, but I do see something very important about your writing skills. I feel like you're very poetic inside. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's a musical inclination to that too. You're connected to someone who does music or they feel very musically connected? Yes. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be able to write poetry or do something to really assist to this musical connection. Now I know I'm supposed to do a psychic reading, but is there a grandmother figure pass for you? No, okay. Grandpa. Okay, he's coming through very sensitive. So I just have to say I feel him here, and I feel like he was a big influence with you almost on a sensitive nature. Do you yeah. understand that? He That's was. why he's coming across female to me. Just know that he's with you, and he says thank you for writing the stuff that you used to write that he used to put on the refrigerator. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So now what's happening is there's a psychic and a mediumship reading happening right now. He's helping us. And I believe when that happens, even when I do my personal sessions, it means you need to go back to that place, that place that you felt when you wrote to grandfather, to bring that into your life now to help this musical connection. So know that spirit's always with us and they always help us and assist us. I also feel that, I know you said something about therapy. I feel like you're going to help children in therapy. Yeah, you understand that's what that? I want to do. Okay, now that didn't come from me. This is supposed to be psychic, but your grandfather's telling me. <laughs> so I want to tell you that he's coming through to tell me this. I feel like when this happens, when a, a client comes to me for psychic reading and the other side comes through, it means you're supposed to start connecting to them because they will help you. They guide us. They give us clarity all the time. We don't stay connected to that because we feel our grief first. So just know that he's coming through to help that. The last thing I want to say to you because we don't have a lot of time, you need to trust your friends around you. You recently, excuse me, now when I lose my voice when I do a reading, that's not me. You're not speaking. That's the throat chakra. And when I lose that when I do a reading, <clears throat> it means that you're not speaking up for yourself. Do you feel that? There's some aspects about you not a speaking bit. your truth. Okay, I'm a, this is a psychic reading. That means look for that in the next three to four months. Speak your truth. Honor that wonderful, beautiful place that your grandfather's making me feel of who you are. When you speak to people, if we can always start from that validating place, the energy that's meant to be in our life will come our way. And the people that don't mean anything or that are bad-mouthing us or talking badly about us will kind of slither away and not be around us. So I hope this helps you in the yeah. time that we're together. Thank you. Thank you. Now, why has my throat chakra been acting up for two weeks? Speak your truth, baby. <laughs> Probably need to speak your truth. Oh, boy. You All need right. a reading, Mr. Scott. All right. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, we're going to eat. Front Street in Hartford has welcomed its newest restaurant. Did you know there's a Ted's Montana Grill right downtown? We're making some awesome dishes you won't find anywhere else. Stay with us.